Hi guys, it's uh, John of Cotton's Classics. Um, just going on from my my first video. Um, obviously, uh, sorry for it wasn't that professional, but uh, I will learn. Um, just really wanted to touch base and say that um, obviously um, there's not a lot we can do on my classic cars at the moment. Um, I started this channel really because I was so bloody bored, um, to be honest. Um, I thought I oh, was do something different. Um, I was watching Hub Nuts and I Drive a Classic, and I thought oh, let's have a go myself. So um, that's where it it really comes from. Um, what I like to do is sort of make the channel a bit more bigger. Um, in fact, um, and do other things with it other than. Well, still on the themes of classic cars, but, um, you know, I'm going, obviously, we're a bit limited what we can do at the moment with um, this lockdown. Um, but, um, I mean, I there's a couple of walks I like to go on. I like to vid, do a little bit of a video on some of them. Um, and there is some motoring aspects to it. Um, one of them is um, an old garage in our village, um, which has been shut. Uh, so I understand from the mid 80s um, it used to be a Renault dealership um, I won't tell you too much about it at the moment I'll save it for when when we do it but um, it's it's basically still intact as if you someone just walked away from it very strange can't find out who owns it um, but I'll, t I'll talk to you about that later as and when we do it um, hopefully it'll either be later today or uh, tomorrow um, just going on from that I mean what I want to do with it with this channel really is um, obviously do the leg row. Um, oh, by the way, we are naming the car, and because um, I've always named my cars, um, my last car was a Mark II Zodiac straight six, and we named him Vince. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but there it is. Um, I, f I think this is a bit more feminine than than uh, the Zodiac, so. I'm going to name it after my uh, my first granddaughter, Eliza. So Eliza, this is is for you. Um, so yeah, going on from there. Basically, what I want to do is, when we can, um, hopefully we might get a few classic car events going, um, shows and what have you, and um, I don't know hill climbs and what things I like to go to. So I'm going to bring the take the camera along or the phone along and. Um, phone that you know use that and see use the footage for another videos as well um i am waiting for some brakes uh discs um disc pads for the allegro so um when i get them back i'll do a quick video of things like that so um, i'm sure you can all do that but uh, it just makes something to do doesn't it so um i just wanted to really um give you an idea where we go where i want to go with it um just brief introduction of what my experience is that um, I'm now retired but um, so I've got plenty of time on my hands and um, yeah I just like to do different things um, I was I started my job as an apprentice motor mechanic years ago back in the ooh, late 60s I uh, believe it or not uh, yeah I'm that old and um, that was with the Vauxhall dealership, so um, so I've got quite a bit of experience of the motor trade and um, the cars I talk about now is a <laughs> everyday Fleming cars um, back then. But um, I'll talk to you about that later on and my experiences I had in the motor trade. Um, some of them good, some of them bad, but usually very enjoyable. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you if you don't like it, don't bother. And um, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, I will endeavour to answer any of your uh, comments and messages. Um, there were some nice messages on the first one, a couple, which were nice. Um, so there we go. Um, and I'll see you shortly. Cheers.